Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of the City Skylines Beginner's Guide. Today we are going to be exploring the Campus DLC. And so we have, I've added in a couple other DLCs as well, the High Tech Building Content Creator Pack and also the Natural Disasters DLC, though we are not gonna really be exploring the Natural Disasters. I just added it because I wanted to get a couple buildings. And so in the last episode, we built out this awesome waterfront area and I really thought that this was a great addition for this area versus just having the beach that we had. This just really goes to show how a couple, you know, unique buildings, we got the Posh Mall and the Expo Center, a um, couple cruise ship terminals. We had introduced the Sunset Harbor DLC and all these combined next to a downtown just look really good with these simple key walls and just looks great. Today, what we're gonna be doing is focusing on this area and anybody who hasn't seen me do a terrain build yet, um, this is gonna be kind of fun. And so we are gonna be using this mountainside and I wanna do some layers here. It's gonna be really fun. I wanna use the natural disasters, kind of meteor satellite dish on top of the hill. And then I wanna incorporate some of the high-tech buildings around the campus to really make it like a tech campus. And so the campus DLC is actually a pretty robust DLC. So if you come down to the education and campus areas tab, you now have a bunch of these new tabs. So trade school campus area, you have the liberal arts college campus, you have the university campus area, the varsity sports and the museums tab. Each one of these schools has their own benefits if you, if you level them all the way up to level five. And so these are very similar to the industries DLC and also the airports where there's a multi-tiered system. And if you select a building, you'll be able to kind of see where you're at in that tier system. We'll look at that later. And so if we jump into each tab and you scroll all the way down to the end, each of these specializations has three schools. So the trade school has the police academy, the school of tourism and leisure, and the school of engineering. The liberal arts college going all the way down to the end has the school of education, the school of environmental studies, and the school of economics. And then if you go to the university campus, they have the school of law, the school of medicine, and the school of science. And so each one of these gives off its own benefit according to whatever school it is. So school of law, decreases your crime rate and it makes your police department upkeep to keep a little bit less and so these are definitely something that as you're building these out consider what kind of city you're building and then consider which campus area is going to work out the best because it is pretty difficult to have multiple of these though in my Zillowood series I ended up having two campus areas that both were level five um, it's just really hard I've never gotten three in one city though I'm pretty sure you can if you have a really large city and you're very careful with how you lay them out um, but you definitely want to incorporate these bonuses with whatever city type. So I think we're going to focus on the trade school. And this is the school that I most often build. It's because it comes with this tourism, the school of tourism and leisure, which boosts your attractiveness and entertainment for leisure buildings, which I think is really important. Um, now, leisure is only one aspect of the After Dark DLC. You still do have the tourism buildings. And this doesn't affect those, but um, it is still really good for those leisure areas. And so a couple other bonuses that we do get, we do get the generic zone industry income bonus, which is really nice with the school of engineering. And then with the police academy, we also get increased patrol car counts and jail capacities as well as police department efficiency. So this is really going to help out our crime rate quite a bit. Along with those, you get the varsity sports. You get all these sports. And one of the cool things with these is if they're placed within a campus area, so like this little circle right here, then it will become a school sports team. If they're placed outside, then it just becomes a city one. So you're not bound to place these within your campus area. You can literally use all these stadiums for your city. And so you have an aquatic center, you have a basketball stadium, the track and field, baseball, and also American football, which is really nice. And then within the museums tab, these are three museums that you unlock whenever you get the respective school up to level five. So whatever, so the technology museum, if we get the trade school all the way up, we unlock this. And then same with the liberal arts, we'll unlock this one. And then same with the university, we'll unlock this one. And this is an area where you can display your academic works. And uh, we'll dive into what academic works here in a little bit. But first, let's go ahead and jump in to our districts and areas tab. And we now have a new district area that we can lock this up, pink campus area. And so one of the sad things, campus areas are not compatible with um, pedestrian areas. It's kind of weird, but um, they made the district paint district tool the same. So you can't meld them together. There are some ways to do it. Like if you just follow the path with these, like say you go really small and you just follow your little path with the pedestrian area, you could probably get some pedestrian roads in there, but all in all, you, you can't just do a pedestrian area and a campus area. And so you definitely got to be mindful of that. So what we're going to do is now paint out in an, a campus area. And so one of the sad things, I don't think we're going to end up unlocking this. And I don't think we're going to end up unlocking this. We really don't have a lot of squares left. I think it's only two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
Yeah, we only have two squares, and so for us to unlock these would be kind of a waste unless we were gonna build out like an island or something. I don't think we're gonna do that, and I do know that I wanna do the airport right here, and it still leaves a lot of room for us to maybe unlock this one or this one or um, some, maybe even back here a little bit, get to this ore field, um, but it's definitely something that we're just gonna have to consider. So now what I wanna do, we're gonna go into that landscaping and disasters tab since we have the natural disasters DLC. This is where if you wanted to do a disaster, you could go down to this tab and basically just click one of these. So what we're gonna do is go over to this level terrain tool and I wanna create a layering effect in here. So I know I wanna have our entrance come up here and then probably go right. So we're gonna grab this slope terrain tool. I'm gonna go ahead and decrease this a little bit. We're gonna right click right there and I want this to come down like right here. We're probably going to loop it up and then come up here. And then I wanna go ahead and do another one right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and go like this. We're gonna go like that. And then let's grab that level terrain tool and we are going to level out a spot up top. We're gonna to go like right there. I don't wanna to get too crazy with it but I want it to be big enough to fit that little dish up there. I feel like that's gonna be a really cool look if we can get it. So then now we will right click right here. Let's go ahead and bring this down, wrap it around. And then now what we wanna do is go back to that level terrain tool and I wanna do a couple little plateaus over here. So I think we'll end up having this kind of connect up just a little bit right there, but then we will go like this. And I do want this section to go around. So we'll grab this and we'll literally loop it all the way around. We'll go just like that. And I do want to create, keep a couple little cliffs in here. I don't want to just get crazy and level it all out and make it look perfect. So I think we will bring this across, go like this, and then let's go ahead and soften this up a bit. And then let's um, grab our level terrain tool again, go ahead and smoothen that out just a little bit. I just want to get a little bit of a road back there, but then I want to have this come around and probably start like right here and we will probably do a slope. So let's go back to that slope tool, grab this right click and then go ahead and bring this down, go like this so that we can have some sort of connection with this. I feel like that's going to be important. And then let's go back to that level terrain tool and we can come over here and level out a nice space over here. One of the things with those, um, the schools is they, they're really big buildings. So we need to be mindful of, um, areas that we're going to we're going to need to put those big buildings. So I think we're going to end up doing some back here. And so I do want this to be a sharper edge. We'll go like right here and let's do another slope. So we'll grab this right click right there. Go ahead and bring this down. And then I do want to have a little bit of an area in here. I think we're going to do our main building right there. And then let's go ahead and do, let's bring this in just a bit. We'll go like this. And then let's go ahead and make this a little bit more realistic just to make it look better. So if we grab that shift terrain tool, we can go like this, go ahead and grab another one of these tools, just kind of blot it around. And then what we'll do is grab that soften terrain tool and then shift it back. Yeah, that looks good. So it looks like it was still leveled a lot of this, but some of it was left, you know, it's not like they just spent all the money to level this whole thing out. It would be super expensive to do that. And so now another thing that I wanna do is add in a nice little stadium district down here. So we are going to grab that level train tool, go ahead and lift it up. And I think we're just gonna go like this. And so we do need to let this flood out real quick. All right, so now that that is mostly flooded, what we can start doing is working on these road layouts. So let's go into our roads tab. We're gonna to go to a medium road. We're gonna grab this and we are going to connect it up like right in the middle if we can, and then loop this around and then go ahead and go. And of course that pillar is like right in the way. So we're gonna go ahead and delete that and keep the game paused for a second. Go ahead and bring this up, go like right here. And then let's go ahead and connect up that Metro line again. So go down to transport, go into our metros, grab that track. And so now what I wanna do is go back into our medium road and I want to turn this and we will go like this. And then we will go ahead and go up like this and then go like this. And then we can go into a smaller road. We'll go into one with trees. Let's go ahead and turn off that snapping. Now we do want this to follow this cliff a little bit, but I want it to go up. So we'll go like this and then let's go ahead and have this branch off and then go ahead and connect this up, go like that. And then let's go ahead and do one going this way. Uh, let's have it actually come out a little bit further. We'll go like this. And then we will go ahead and follow this down. And then let's go ahead and have it follow the, the cliff a little bit. Go like this and then have it come back now. And I wanna leave a little bit of room on that backside for us to do some buildings or something. I feel like that's gonna be important for us. And so now we have created a little space right here, a little space right there, a couple little spaces up here. So let's actually level this out a bit. We'll go like that. And I do wanna create another connection over here as well. I don't wanna just have one connection. It's gonna be super important for us. 
So if we go ahead and bring this out just a smidge, and then let's grab that slope tool, right click right there, and then have this come down. And of course I wasn't in the right spot. We'll have this come down, go like that. Perfect. And then that way what we can do is actually have this continue on. So we'll get rid of that curve. And then that way we should be able to uh, connect that up. It's not at a perfect angle, but it's not the end of the world. And so I'm definitely trying to go for something that's a little more broken up here in terms of uh, grid layout, because I feel like it's going to create a really nice, nice look in here versus something that's just perfectly placed. So we will go ahead and follow the curb, the cliff all the way around with this one. And then I think we have a little bit of room over here as well. Let's um, grab that level terrain tool. So we got a little bit of a space right there. We got a space over here, which is actually really nice. So I think we got some pretty cool spaces for us to be able to add in some stuff. I think we're gonna leave the road layout kind of empty over there for right now, just because we don't, some of the buildings are pretty big. And so I, I don't wanna get too crazy and then have to come back and delete a bunch of stuff that's just unnecessary. So then we will go ahead and bring this down and then let's go and wrap it around the back. And I'm hoping to get some of our bigger buildings down here. So we actually need to be mindful of how far out we go with this. So if we go like this and there we go. So now we got kind of a rough layout. We're definitely missing a couple things. So like we need to do this road right here. So what I'm probably going to do is just grab this, go up here and then do uh, something similar to what I did before and then have it come over here and then connect up. And there we go. So now we have a couple connections in here. We have through access so that nobody's in some crazy big cul-de-sac, except for maybe this side. We could um, have this come up here, maybe do a slope over here. That could be good. So if we grab this and then just right click right there, have this come down. I feel like that still keeps that kind of natural terrain, but then also provides some ac accessibility over here, which is always important. So if we go like this. And so now we have the basic layout for our campus area. We still have a lot of room to be able to grow and kind of expand it, but now let's jump into our building. So let's go into the education and campus tab. And I think we're going to do the trade school because it has the tourism and leisure. So I want to come down here and what I'm thinking is we'll add in the main building right here. So if we grab a medium sized road, grab this, let's go ahead and go, uh, we'll curve it. Yeah, if we go like this and then let's grab some smaller roads, let's turn on snapping so we can get a nice 90 off of this. We'll go like right here and then right there. Let's go ahead and put our main building right there. And one of the cool things with campus areas is um, pretty much all of your buildings can snap to paths. And so one of the cool things with this, like you can see there's a path that goes all the way around. Well, if you go into your buildings now, you can kind of just snap it right to that path. And so it's a really cool functionality. It makes it a little more realistic as well, since a lot of times campuses are like that where paths are such a big part of them. So we'll go ahead and connect this up down there. And then I think we will tempted to just have this come down could go like that and then I think we'll actually do another one and we'll do a big plaza in here. I feel like that could actually look really good. Yeah, that could be nice. So do a plaza right here and a plaza right there. Kind of make it into a grand entrance. So now let's see what kind of buildings we unlocked. So level one, you really don't get a lot, but one of the most important buildings we get, which is this trade school dormitory. So I want to come into info views and actually get rid of the, get out of the campus area. So I want to be able to put this kind of on the edge over here because I feel like this is going to create some really cool dorms and some really cool looks. We'll come in here, let's smoothen out just a bit along this edge. It does look like we have a little bit of an issue right there, but let's come up over here now and we should be able to place this right there, come over here. Let's go ahead and place three of them right there. And then I wanna do the same thing over here. So we're gonna place one right there, place one right there, place one right there. And then I wanna come over here as well. This is actually kind of tight. So maybe we get rid of this and clean this up just a smidge and just make this into a nice uh, nice little area right there. So we'll go like that. Let's go back into our roads and just kind of paint this around. We'll go like that. And then that way what we can do is come in back in here and place these all the way down. Yeah, there we go, nice. And so one of the cool things with this, every time you place down a dormitory, you get a certain amount of automatic students. And so this is one of the easiest ways that you can level up your school pretty quickly is just by placing more of these down. And so now let's go ahead and look at our other buildings. So now we have the trade school study hall. Let's go ahead and place it down here next to our main building. I feel like this would actually be a really nice fit right there, especially right next to the plaza. Yeah, this actually looks really good. I like that kind of right next to this. And we're going to do some paths in here and really kind of tie it all together. So now we have the groundskeeping, which I like placing this off of our main building. We'll actually place it right there. Then we have our book club. So I do want to do, there's a couple clubs. 
So we'll end up placing our clubs. Let's do them off of this road. So we'll do probably all the clubs and then like a park or something in there. I feel like that could be good. So now let's go ahead and do some water pipes. All right, so water pipes in. We now need to go in and look at our electricity and we'll have to come back through here and get rid of any of these lines that are kind of in the way. So let's go ahead and connect that up. We'll come up over here, connect this up. And it looks like that right there is gonna be enough. So we are connected up right there. It's gonna connect up this transmission line and then it's gonna come all the way over here and connect that up. Yeah, perfect. Nice. We are kind of running a little bit low. We still have about 120 megawatts um, of headroom. And so we definitely gotta keep an eye on that though. So now that we have it, we can click on any of the buildings and you'll have this little campus area info. So you got, there's a couple things you wanna be mindful of this. In order to reach the next level, what you need to look at is, are these three tabs. So current level, next level. So we have already passed it with campus attractiveness through the buildings we've placed and, um, and stuff like that. And so now we just need to reach students, which you can kind of see it's ballooning. We're gonna pass 500 pretty quickly. And then the last requirement is this academic work, which is actually the hardest thing to get. So if we come up to this academic works tab, you want to make sure that you kind of bump this up a little bit, but you do want to be careful. You don't want to just go crazy, put this all, to, all the way to the end because it's really expensive. And so you want to kind of look down here and see how much money you're making every week, how much in excess, and, and then make a judgment call based off of that. And then you have this give research grant category as well. We're going to go ahead and do hospitality and just give it. So you do also have policies in here. You have a student health care, free lunch, um, visiting scholars, which increases faculty bonus, some um, universal education, which makes makes it all free. And then once you get some sports, you have some more of these policies. I don't tend to mess with the campus policies too much, though. You can later on, like once the city becomes big, it is nice to have things like universal education or something like that. Um, and so now it's just kind of like a waiting game. So we you know, already got the students. We just need this to end. And at the end of every year, you get awarded a certain amount of academic works. So we do need two of them. And so while we're waiting for that, let's go ahead and place down some other buildings. So I know I want to do that dish. So if we come into emergency services, we now have this tab that came with the natural disasters DLC. And so I want to place this deep space radar all the way at the top. I want it to go like right here just because I really like the look of it. I think it is a fantastic looking building. So if we go ahead and go like that, let's see if we can place it going the opposite direction. We can. So let's um, place that like right there. And I feel like it fits really well, especially with like tech campuses. And so I really like having that, especially on top of this hill. We do need to connect it up with electricity though. So let's connect this all the way up down here. And so now let's go into our unique buildings tab. All of your high tech building content creator packs will be in here with your like art deco or the skyscrapers content creator pack, whatever other content creator packs you have that put buildings within the unique buildings tab. And so you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you actually get quite a bit of buildings in here and you get um, a space shuttle launch site. This isn't the one that actually launches. This is just the one that, um, it still looks good. Like if you place it down, we can just look at it, even though it's a waste of 200,000. Still, I mean, looks great. It doesn't, I wish it launched like the other one does, but it's not a huge deal. So we'll go ahead and go back to this and I wanna place a few of these down. So I wanna do this research center. So let's go ahead and do the research center right off of this little block. So we will go back to that and then let's go ahead and place that like right there. Let's check it out first because we don't want to, we want to make sure that it looks good. I mean, it looks okay. It's definitely um, kind of missing something. Like, let's see if we could shift it over just a bit. So if we go like that and then maybe place another one right next to it, let's see about putting in a small road, go like this and then see about putting in that other one right next to it. So if we go like that, how does that look? So, I mean, it looks okay. I definitely wish it was in a little bit better of a spot. Maybe we'll place it up here. This could be better. Yeah, so if we go ahead and place this like right there and then let's place this one right next to it. So if we go like this, yeah, you know what? That looks better because then it allows us to do some decorations and stuff, maybe do a path in there. Um, and these are unique buildings, so they do generate traffic, but like that was a research center and a robotics institute. And so it's definitely some cool stuff. You do have some bigger buildings, like this is the semiconductor plant. Um, you also have a nanotechnology center, which I do want to place. I think we'll end up placing this back here. So if we place that right there, you know, that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and smoothen out that cliff though. So we'll go like this. And then that still leaves some room for us to be able to do some decorations as well. I think that looks good though. They're going to definitely incorporate pretty well with a lot of the a lot of the buildings. And so now we can come in here and see what we have placed. So we got the three down. We could do the software development studio. This could be a good one too. So if we so we already got this one. So this is like a research complex. We got the nanotechnology center. Maybe if we do this one like down here, 
So I think we're gonna have to do one of the schools right there. Let's actually wait and see. So if we go into the education tab, we should have unlocked our first school. And these kind of tucked all the way in the back, so it's easy to forget about them. So we got the police academy. So if we go ahead, we could do a couple over here. Definitely have room for one over here. And then what we'll do is we will connect it up with paths. So we'll grab this path. And of course, because it's a created path, it doesn't want to connect to that. So we are going to redraw that in with the concrete one just so that we can actually get it to connect with that. So I did that because I want to get some buildings off of this. And so we definitely want to get some other buildings kind of wrapping around. So what I want to do is start building out this stadium district. So we're going to come over here to our landscaping and disasters tab. We're going to go into water structures and I want to extend out this key wall. Now we can come in here. Oh, so we reached the end of our first one. Oh, and it does look like we bumped up. We got four academic works. Wow, that's crazy. That is crazy. Let's, um, so what I want to do is just clean up this edge real quick and then we'll go and place down our new buildings and then we can um, jump back over here. So let's jump into our education tab and see what we unlocked. So we should have gotten at least a couple buildings. So I know the last building we placed was this book club, but now we have unlocked the trade school outdoor study, the trade school gymnasium and the trade school cafeteria as well as the trade school fountain. So I think this is probably the biggest one of them all of the unlocks. So we will go ahead and place this. So let's place the gymnasium right there. And then we do want to have a couple cafeterias. I normally like to place these kind of close to the resident area. So we're going to place one right there. And then we're going to come over here and place this one as well. And you can kind of see that you're able to place it away from the road. You do need to be mindful of paths though. So we're gonna to have to come back in there and place some paths. So then we'll place this one here. And then let's go ahead and connect those up before we forget. So this one, let's go ahead and go like right here. Oh, and it looks like it already connected up, but I want to do a little bit of a cleaner connection for that. So we will go like this and then we will go ahead and go like this. And then let's come over here and do the same thing. So we want to come off this front side and it looks like this one's going to be a little bit harder. Let's actually move that back just a smidge. We're a little bit too close. So we will go ahead and go like this. That way we can do something similar to what we did on the other side. Just do some paths over here. Go like this and then go ahead and curve it in. And then let's try to curve this one and maybe <laughs> we'll go like that. I don't really like that outward curve, but I don't think that there's really a whole lot we can do for that. So the outdoor study area is actually a really big park. So I think we're going to go ahead and place this down here. And then we have the gymnasium right there and we have a couple of the trade school fountains. So I think we will do one of the fountains over here. So we'll do a fountain right there. And then let's see about placing another fountain over here. We do want to be careful because we're dealing with terrain. Um, we're going to have some issues with some of these. So we want to just come back and make sure that they look good. And so now that we got those, we can kind of jump in here, go to campus area. And it looks like we have already reached all of our goals for the next unlock, which is fantastic. And so we already have almost 2000 students, which is great. And we haven't even done mass transit over here yet which we're, I think we're gonna do some trams, get some tram access through here. I think that that would be nice. And so now it's just a waiting game again. We're not really gonna mess around with detailing or even path networks yet. I wanna get all the buildings down. And so let's go ahead and jump back over here and get our stadiums in. So let's bring this back. And I want that road to follow along the key wall. So we will grab this, have it come down. I want it to kind of line up with that. It looks like we're just a little bit off. So we'll go ahead and redraw that one in. Perfect, nice. And then that way we can come down here and then have this follow up. And then let's go ahead and just have it just connect up like that. Perfect. And so it does look like I maybe mixed two types of roads. I did. So I'm going to go ahead and fix that. We will upgrade that. And then I do want to have a bigger road in the middle. So I want to do two stadiums. So I think we will come off like right here. We'll go like that. So we'll come in here, go into the varsity sports tab. And I would like to get this American football. I think it's going to be a little too big though. It is. So let's how bigger. So if we, could we even fix that? Maybe if we move this road over just a bit. Yeah, so we can. Perfect. And so I do want this to be part of our campus area. So we're going to come in here. And like I said, just needs to be within the campus area so we'll go like this but i do also want to utilize some small pedestrian access roads in the front so we're going to kind of cheat a little bit so we're going to grab this we're going to come all the way down follow that road and we will come up here go like that and i think that should be good for now but we will see we'll kind of see after we place it so let's go back into our education tab and let's place this american football i want it to be kind of in the middle we'll go like that and then I think we can fit the aquatics or the basketball. It's one of them. 
So it looks like the basketball would fit if we just moved this road a smidge. So I'm gonna pause. So we'll go like that. And then let's go ahead and redraw back in our road. And so what I'm thinking is we will grab our pedestrian road and I wanna use a bigger tram road. So we'll come in here. Let's actually use this, uh, what, which ones did we use for over here? Ooh, so we use these kind of stone ones. I don't think those are the same. Yeah, I think maybe these ones are. So let's let's check it out. So we'll come in here and we are going to upgrade this all the way down. And so the reason I did that is because I want this to be kind of like a tram stop um, pedestrian area, make it into a really nice road. And so we do need to add in tram access. So I wanna come over here, let's do this four lane tram road and let's go all the way down. And then let's go ahead and go up to this road and just connect that up right there. And then I think we're going to add in our underground metro over here as well. So let's go into our transport and let's do a stop like right here. And then let's go ahead and just connect that up. So if we come in here, hit that page down button so we can go underground and then just curve this in. And then we should be able to just grab this, drag stop to move it, go like that. And then remember we gotta come back over here and add in two stops. So we'll go like that, go like that. And then so now we have some we have the capability to do tram stops it does look like we forgot to do that top road so let's go back in here and add in our tram road and maybe we'll actually have this go all the way around so we'll page up to get up yeah you know what i, I feel like this is a nice looking road does this have bike asset access so four lane road with tram tracks and trees is there tram trees and bikes i don't think so so bicycle lanes and tram tracks so we definitely want to prioritize biking. So I think we're going to go like that. And then let's go ahead and do our tram road all the way around just because we can. And this is going to really help our students to get around the campus. So our tram is connected up to our ped roads over here. It's connected up over here. And I still think we'll probably do a couple other tram roads in here just to provide a little bit of access. Maybe like we'll put in this loop. I feel like this could be good because we could even do like a little tram stop in there. Yeah, there we go. And so now we got just a little bit of access over here and we do, so we don't have any access up here. This would actually be really good if we could get some access over here. Um, so let's delete this. I'm thinking maybe if we come down, so if we grab our slope tool and what I'm going to do is just put in a slope with a connection, probably dead ending right here. And there we go. So I got a tram road in here. It's kind of hard getting it to be smooth, but now it's got an access down here, which is fantastic. And so let's go ahead and hook up our tram lines. I'm just gonna do, probably extend these two over here to make this into like a little station. But then I'm gonna do a loop going around and I'm probably gonna do two, maybe one smaller loop that kind of hits the university area. And then I think we will do a loop around here as well. Okay, so I went ahead and did three lines. I did a loop going all the way around, connecting up to our little station. But then I did a smaller loop, kind of looping around this and then looping around this. And then I extended our red line over here that comes all the way down, kind of loops around this bigger section down here so that they could do some transfers. And then I created a couple stops in here to service this residential area that we built in the last episode. I do want to make sure that I didn't mess up any stops over here. No, I didn't. So it actually still looks pretty good. We could go ahead and add in a stop right here, though. I feel like that would be good. And then I do want to go in and change the color. So we'll go into trams and so we have a bunch of new lines now. Let's actually grab this. So it was the three lines. Let's change this one to what colors do we have? So we don't have any yellows. So we'll go to this one. We'll do two yellows. So we have a dark purple. This is more like a pink magenta. And so um, I do want to change those to the other tram lines, other tram cars as well. We'll go over here. Let's do this tram capacity 130. We'll do the same thing for all three of these really like that they added in all these trams it's really nice to have like a selection of trams trams have always been my favorite form of transportation so to see them finally um, boosting it up is really cool so now the idea is that these are both um basically a station that's what this whole area is for but these are still part of the school so it says smith state college um alligators i'm guessing and then over here so smith state college alligators we can come up with a cool name for that too if you guys want to come up with anything cool and so let's go ahead and check on this real quick so we'll go to campus area info still got a little ways to go um so i want to i know i want to do a little stadium district over here so if we go ahead and connect let's grab this we will connect this up and then let's come over here and do the same thing and then let's go let's do one more so we'll go like that and so this the idea for this is that it's going to be 
an area where like before the games you'd go and there'd be restaurants and uh, maybe like a couple bars and stuff for you to uh, kind of pregame before the game or even go after the game's over and stuff like that. Just really be a fun area to go and, and hang out. And so what we're going to do is actually turn these into leisure areas. So we'll go into commercial specialization and leisure is this one with the little mask. We'll go ahead and click that. And then we will go in here and let's do, I don't want to get crazy with this. I actually think we're going to do a fence on one side so we can get a little more zoning on that inside. So if we grab this, let's go ahead and do a fence over here. And what this does is it just makes it so that your zoning is full off of that road. Like I don't want zoning off of this road anyway. So it makes these a little bit bigger. Go like this, go like that, go like this, go like that, go like this. And then I think we'll actually do these roads as well, but I want to do a couple paths in here. So we'll go like this. Uh, maybe we can't do paths. We'll just fill them all in. Yeah, I was hoping that we could get some paths in there, but I think it's going to be a little too tight. I think we could even fit in another unique building over here. So let's go all the way down and see. I know we had gotten a, a couple comments on the missed, missed building opportunities. So maybe we could add in these. So Gallisterm, Termian Park. I'd actually gotten a comment saying to please place this one. So maybe we'll actually place this one down. Place that. And then let's um, see about placing this one. Let's see how those look. Yeah, you know what? I actually think that those look pretty cool right there. I think they go well with each other. It's a big, big one and a small one. And so I like them. I like them right up, right off the waterfront too. It's a cool look. And there we go. So now we have water. Our next event should be here soon. They normally get two events right away, but because I didn't have water, um, we kind of missed that opportunity. Let's go ahead and check out these new trams. So these, I really like these. Oh, that looks really cool. I really like the idea of using the pet, pet roads as little stations. Um, it's like, you know, combos as a path and it just looks a little better rather than the stations that you could do before, especially right in front of stadiums like this. So now let's come over here and check out our campus area and see how far we are. So we're about halfway. So I'm actually going to um, come in here, go into Ap Academic Works. We're going to go back down to hospitality. We're going to give them some more money. And we'll come over here and see what these gave us. So off, off fence, an ambitious and one of a kind backyard fence made entirely out of toothpicks to oppose the usual mass produced backyard fences. So that's a pretty cool invention. Um, these don't tend to actually affect your city at all. I think it just boosts your academic work progresses. Though when you get the museums, you get to display these. And so it's, it does actually, it adds a kind of cool aspect to it. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and let the game run for this to upload, re upgrade real quick. And then we will be back and place down some more buildings. All right, so we have hit the next unlocked renowned. And so what that has given us is the trade school academic statue one. IT Club, the Trade School Library, School of Tourism and Travel, and the Trade School Commencement Office. Man, we are really hitting these unlocks pretty quick. So now let's come in here and check out our academic work. So we need one more to get to that next unlock. So let's come back in here and we're going to give money. Let's actually go to a different one now. So we're going to go to IT and engineering. We're going to give 50,000. And so now it's just a waiting game again, but let's go ahead and place down our new buildings. All right. So if we go into the education and campus tab, we can look at our new buildings. So we placed this trade school fountain. So we have the trade school library. I'd really like to get some buildings up here on these ledges. So I think what we're going to do is place this one right here. And then, so we want to put the IT club next to this other club down here. So we'll go ahead and place this right there. And then the commencement office, we actually want to get near the bottom. So I think we may move this one. Let's go ahead and move this one like right there. Or you know what? Let's actually put it off of this one. We can put the commencement office right here, which I think having it near the front building is very fitting. And then we have the academic statues. So we have another kind of plaza area. Let's see if we can place some of these near our housing areas. So we have one right there. Let's go ahead and place one right there. And then we have nothing over here. So let's um, place this right there. And then let's go ahead and do a couple of these on either side. So we'll go like that. And then we'll go like this. Let's see how the two fountains together look. So that actually looks good. I like it. it's a little sundial too. I think that's cool. We do need to uh, check our power right there though. We kind of messed that up. So if we come over here and then connect that up. And so let's go ahead and check out our campus area now. I think we did unlock our second school. So we still need to get that other academic works. But we have this school of tourism and travel, which is another big building. Maybe we'll put it down here. So let's do a small road. And I think we're going to run it parallel with this road. So if we go out like this, and then let's go ahead and go, let's go off of here. We'll go like this. And then we will go into that free form tool and I want it to follow the road as closely as possible. So we'll go like this and then let's go ahead and connect it up. Nice. And then that way we can put in some, some palm trees or something in there just to kind of clean it up. 
am going to make this a little bit straighter right here. It looks like we're just a little bit off. And there we go. And then that way we can put this building in here. And it does look like we're going to run into issues with space. Let's um, go ahead and go straight off of this. I feel like that actually looks really good. And it leaves us an opportunity to do maybe some more dormitories or something down here. Kind of clean it up. Maybe do another cafeteria. I feel like that could be good. Um, so if we do, let's do a dormitory right there. Let's go ahead and leave some space to do or fountains in here so let's put that right there and then we can put a bigger building right there once we unlock some more i feel like this is already coming together pretty nicely i do want to do a couple of our pedestrian plazas in here though so let's do small fountain plaza and let's do a small fountain plaza let's see how those look because they didn't line up i don't know if we're going to be able to line that up either oh there we go so we lined it up a little bit better now and then that way we can come in here go to our paths and just connect these up let's go ahead and turn off snapping and just do just a little pattern in here just to make it look a little bit nicer we can do some food trucks and stuff so we'll go like this and then let's go ahead and connect this up and then let's do the same thing over here and there we go so we have our little paths going on and then we i think i'll do a pergola with some trees and really just kind of tie it all, into, all in together we are still missing some trees in here don't worry we're gonna put it all in near the end and so let's go ahead and check this out we're getting near that end and man we're already up to this four stars it's gonna be great so we're gonna hit that on um, that level five pretty quickly and so i'm gonna go ahead and let it run for a bit let us hit that last stage since we already have everything except for that academic works and then we'll place down some more buildings all right and so in just a couple minutes we have hit acclaimed and you can see we definitely took a little bit of a hit on our students and so we unlocked the auditorium the bookstore and the laboratories and so you can kind of see this is definitely a little bit easier to work with. It does take a little bit of time for to allow it to all upgrade, um, especially level five does tend to be a little bit harder to get. Let's go ahead and look at our new buildings now. So we got the auditorium, which is a pretty sizable one. We could even maybe put the auditorium right there that actually looks like a perfect fit. So I think the laboratories, the laboratory is a little bit bigger let's see if we can put them over here yeah i feel like that's gonna be a good pit and then the bookstore so we want to put the bookstore in a centralized location typically i mean down here would be good so i think what we're gonna do we're gonna move this poor auditorium again so we will put this right here and then let's put the bookstore right next to it so that way people can get to the bookstore pretty quickly and then it also leaves room for us to be able to do a path in here um the auditorium just keeps getting moved around Let's go ahead and do this and then let's um, grab this. And there we go. So our campus is already coming coming to life. And so we have our last three buildings coming up ahead. I believe uh, we have a little, yes, we need 16 ac academic works and we need only a hundred more students, which are already there. And we're just above the, the campus attractiveness. So it does take a little while for you to get these last ones. Maybe we could do some more dormitories up here or something like right here could probably be a good spot. It's so like, even if we just got rid of this, and then did a couple little roads in. So if we did that and then did this, we could probably do a couple more of the dormitories. So let's do another gymnasium right there. Let's look at that though, make sure we're not clipping anything. Yeah, no, we're good right there. I do want to extend out that row just a smidge though. So if we grab that and have it go across, yeah, just to connect that up. And then let's do one more cafeteria right here. That could be good. And then maybe let's connect this up like we did the other one. So we'll go like that. And then let's see about putting in a couple more buildings here. And don't worry about duplicating buildings. It's just part of doing these campuses, especially if it's a really large campus, you are going to have multiple of certain types of buildings. And so, all right, so now what I'm going to do is go ahead and jump into a detailing time lapse. I'm going to do some trees around here, do some pathway networks going all the way through here. I think over here I may do something different, maybe even some more... Um, some more university buildings or something, but then I want to come down here, do some trees, really create it, make it into a nice space, um, especially once we get, oh yeah, they already got games. So this one lost and our football team won, which is great, but we didn't get to see all the people coming out, which is really what I wanted to look at, but um, we'll make sure to check that out on the next game. And so I'm going to go ahead and jump into a detailing time-lapse and I hope you enjoy. I will catch you guys on the other side.
Okay, so after quite a few hours of letting the game run, kind of do doing just random stuff within the city, we have finally hit prestigious. And so we have gotten our last five buildings. So we got the School of Engineering. We got the another plaza, so Trade School Academic Statue 2, the Trade School Media Lab, the Technology Museum, and the Beach Volleyball Club. And so we, uh, we now want to place those down. And it's kind of funny, I did have to place down a couple dormitories. So one of the things you got to look out for, especially for that last one, because getting 16 academic works definitely took a while. Our student population had dropped down. And so what I did was I just placed a couple dormitories down. And it's a really easy way to just kind of boost your population up um, whenever you're facing those kind of issues. And so now let's come down here. I know I want to place the media lab. So the media lab is actually kind of a bigger building. Maybe we could actually put this right next to this nanotechnology. Let's place that right there and see how that looks. That looks okay. Let's see if we can just brush this up a little bit. So if we grab this and just kind of smoothen this out, I mean, it looks okay. I kind of wish that that wasn't right on the edge. Let's maybe find a better spot for that. We're getting kind of tight on space, but you know what? I think we'll put that there and I'll do some trees around just to kind of clean it up. And so now let's look at our volleyball club. So we want to put this over next to our other clubs. And we definitely kind of filled in the space over here. Let's maybe move our, our cafeteria over just a smidge. I think we can get it in here. Yes, we can. Perfect. So now we got all our little clubs over here. IT club, our volleyball club, and our book club. So now they're all like right next to each other. And there's some dormitories as well. So maybe these are like the, you know, club dormitories or something. We have another statue. So we want to do, we definitely want to do these. Ooh, you know what? Let's actually do, let's do one right there. We'll put it right next to that other one. Yeah, you know what? I like that one. I like this statue as well. It's a pretty cool, you know, it's got like a face in it. Um, I think it's definitely one of the better statues for these little parks. Let's maybe find another spot to put one. Looking at this spot right here, I think that this could be good. All right, so now we need to place down the School of Engineering, and this is a behemoth of a building. I think maybe just taking out some of the coast over here and putting it in over here would be good. So if we go like this, and then let's go ahead and soften that up a little bit just so that we can make it look a little more natural. Let's press play so we can get it to flood. And then I'm thinking we'll probably extend this road out and then put the School of Engineering right here. I think that that's going to be our best bet. But I think this is already looking pretty good. So in our detailing time lapse, um, I ended up doing all the trees in here. And then I really cleaned it up a lot. I think it looks good. I did do a couple little plazas over here. So I did the, our pergolas with some seeding, some little purple bushes. I did trees kind of accentuating around. I kind of switched back and forth between these tall burials and then the live oaks. And then um, did another little plaza area over here with, um, you know, some pergolas. And then I ended up doing some of our gazebos kind of splattered around. And you can use park assets within here, too. So assets from the Park Life um, DLC, which I really like the gazebos. I like kind of putting those around. Then it's just more trees kind of accentuating, cleaning up those paths, um, putting them on the edge. We still have a little bit more left to go, but not a lot. I wanted to leave some room for these other buildings. I just wasn't really sure where we were going to put everything just yet. So I think what we'll do is we are going to grab this and we are going to go straight and then we are going to curve it around. Let's actually turn off snapping so we can get a little bit more consistent of an angle out of that. And then let's go ahead and just connect this up. So we'll go like that. And we are way on a slope. I didn't even realize that. So what we're going to want to do first is um, clean up the slopes. So we're going to want to go like this. And then now let's um, come right here, might as well. And then let's connect that road up back again. And there we go. That looks a little bit better. So now we should be able to put this right here. I'm thinking like right there. Let's look at that though. You know what? It, it doesn't look bad. I definitely kind of wish it was a little cleaned up over here though. Maybe what we can do, let's go ahead and grab a path. And then let's come up over here and then let's go ahead and bring this back. And so now what we'll do is go ahead and do some trees around that just kind of clean it up, accentuate it a bit. Probably do a gazebo back here um, right off the water. I actually really like how close to the water that is. I think it's nice. We'll probably just move this out just a smidge and then just clean that up again. Yeah, just to get it a little bit further. I feel like having the water that close to the to the building wasn't good. But I think that looks good. We definitely need to hook up water to this building. So let's go ahead and go like this. And then I'm looking over here. I think we can get one of our one of our new statues in here. Yeah, we can if we go like that. Perfect. Let's actually, I think we can go off of the path. We can. So if we go like that, it allows us to be able to do uh, some little decorations around it. And I think I'm going to do some tree lined, um, like some palm trees over here. And then now that we have every building, let's make sure that we got everything. So we got the dormitory, we got the study hall. 
We got the groundskeeping, we got the book club, we got the outdoor study area, gymnasium. We have a gymnasium, right? Yeah, we do, it's right there. So we have a couple cafeterias, trade school fountain, we have the library, IT club, commencement hall, we have the auditorium, I believe. So then we have the laboratories just over there. We have the media lab. That's what we just placed. We have the bookstore. We have the volleyball club. Yep, yeah, we have everything. Nice. And so I really like how this is coming together, especially off the hills. I think this is a really cool look. And so I'm just going to go ahead and clean up the rest of these real quick. Not a whole lot left to do. I'm just going to fill in these spaces, spaces that I kind of left open, like these ones over here, and then just do some trees and stuff. And I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so I have finished, and so I did end up extending this road out, and I put in some high-density residential. For some reason, it's just not growing in right now. It may be because of services, though I did check all of our services. The only thing that is up in the air is its proximity to our elementary and high school. But then I did some trees over here. I did some tall burials in between just to kind of accentuate that road. I just did trees in here to kind of fill in the space, make it look more natural. Um, that's pretty much what I did all the way around. I did add in another little plaza over here with some purple trees and a little bit of uh, foliage. You can kind of see all these people. Look at all the people walking. I really like this um, pedestrian road in the middle. I did have to switch this from being on our campus area to being in a pedestrian area because these buildings weren't getting trash. And so um, you're getting their trash picked up. And so it's kind of a problem. Um, so I did more trees back here, did a couple little purple bushes. I ended up accentuating our little research park over here with some of these purple bushes, a couple little uh, pergolas kind of overlooking, you know, like this would be an overlook, You'd be able to see like the cruise ship terminals in the back and kind of the water and stuff and all these people walking in, like, look at how many people are going down there. That's really cool to see. Um, especially I'm guessing both of them are having a game right now. Overall, I think this looks really nice. Uh, this is probably one of the most expansive um, campuses I've ever done. I definitely have done ones that are more like smaller inner city and then I've done ones that are really big like this but not quite as big. I, I really like the hill though. I still think we got a couple spaces in here. I thought we had put something in here but I guess we didn't. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is just kind of fill in these because it looks like this is just missing something. I really do think we'll end up doing some paths up here and just doing like a little nature reserve up top. I feel like that would be nice. I really like this area. This really accentuates the downtown very well. I like the residential over here. We got all our high rise skyscraper stuff over here. And I think this is really cool. I like this campus idea with the with the radar on top. Go ahead and let me know in the comments what you guys think. If you enjoyed this episode, you will definitely enjoy the episode on your screen. And thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one.